Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is a video tutorial for the new Boston. In the last part, we looked at um, jQuery fade in, where we faded in an image on our web page and we used a callback function to say when the, the uh, effect had completed. In this tutorial, we're going to look si similarly at fade out, but essentially this is going to do the same thing but backwards. So we have our um, our display none on our image. Now let's go ahead into effects and actually get rid of uh, the majority of, well, all of this code actually. Okay, so we've got our image that is not displayed at the moment and we have our feedback div here. Let's go ahead and refresh the page and you'll see that we've got nothing on at the moment. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some event handlers to create um, this effect when two button, two different buttons are pressed. So we're going to create a hide and a show button. So let's go ahead and create an input type button. And the ID of this can be show. And let's copy and paste that. And we'll do exactly the same thing, but hide. Uh, let's give both of these a value as well. So we know which one's which. So show and value equals hide. Okay, so let's go ahead and preview the page. You can see that we've got this show button and this hide button. When I click on the show button, I want the animation to fade in and tell me uh, underneath uh, when it's loaded. And the same with hide. I want to fade the image in and tell me underneath when that has been hidden as well. So let's go ahead and uh, over to our effects.js file. We need to uh, reference these buttons to be able to create an event handler for both of them. So with show and the same with hide. So the first one I'm going to do is show. So I reference show and then I say dot click. And inside of this, I need to create a function and the block of code that's going to be run when we click this button. So function, I'll bring the block down so we can work inside of here. And now I'm going to reference the image itself, which I've given an image ID of image. So let's go ahead and say image dot fade in. Now I'm going to give the fade in function uh, two parameters. The first one is going to be slow. In fact, let's just do three seconds. And the next is the callback function to let me know when this uh, animation is complete. So function and then a block, bring the block down. And in here, I want to add some text to this image feedback div. So let's say hash image feedback dot HTML image has been loaded image has been shown. OK, so now that we've done that, we can go ahead and test our show button. Let's click show. Um, let's just create a line break so that looks a bit nicer or paragraph, I guess. Okay, and we'll go back to our browser. So when we click show, uh, the image fades in, and then we're shown this image has been shown in the div that we created below. So now we're gonna do the same for hide. Uh, let's go ahead into effects.js. So we need to reference the hide button to see if this has been pressed. So hide.click. And inside here, we need to create, again, a function with a block bring the block down and we need to do exactly the same thing but this time we are hiding it so image dot fade out so we're using the fade out function now which works in exactly the same way as the fade in function uh, we give it the same parameters as well so we're going to fade out at a speed of three seconds we're going to create a function which is uh, our callback function and this is going to put some text into the image feedback div, uh, image has been hidden. So we can again say dollar and in brackets, uh, sorry, image feedback and then dot HTML and inside here, image has been hidden. So now that we've done this, we can go into our browser, refresh the page. We can click show, which will fade in this image and we have the callback function uh, create this text in that div for us image has been shown and then when we press the hide button it fades out and we have image has been hidden 
So these fade in and fade out effects are extremely useful for things like galleries, uh, displaying images. However, you can feel free, like I said in the last part of the tutorial, to use them on any particular HTML element.